Okay, hi everybody, it's Cassie. This is like my third time recording this because uh, OBS didn't want to cooperate with me, so we are going with Fraps instead. So this is going to be another quick tutorial, and this is how to make a projector in Second Life. It's very easy to do, and it only takes a few seconds. So first off, we want to create a prim. You can either uh, create right here, right click and click create. You can also go to build, and you can go to uh, create here somewhere. Yeah, create. Or you can right click and edit. You can go up here and you can hit create. So uh, what we are going to do with this, we'll delete this for now, and we are going to click on this box. We're going to go to features and click light, and we have our light source right here. It is all around it, like every single spot. It is like a, what would you call it, a 570? I can't, I can't remember. But anyways, we're going to take our texture. I made a simple quick texture in Photoshop. It's just white and it has my name Cassie on it. And so we are going to take this texture and we can either drag it to this box or we can click it. Okay. And then it'll show right here like you would for the texture page. It'll have it here and you can set it. I believe this also works if you do it with a local photo instead of one that you already have in Second Life. So if you don't want to spend money on it, that should work. So let's try that real quick just to see. We'll do uh, the photo I took today. Well, that'll be too big. We'll do this one though. Just to see if it works. Now then, to test this out, we are going to lift this up. And you can already see right here this image on the floor, and that is the texture of my thumbnail. So if you don't want to pay for your uh, uh, image just for a personal photo and you're not going to keep this, you can easily just do local texture. Or if you want to use the one that you uploaded, you can either drag it You can either drag it from your inventory or uh, just click it through here. And there you go. It uh, automatically puts it just on one side, so it won't be on all of the squares. It'll just be on this square. You can zoom in and zoom out. It'll create shadows, so if you are standing in front of it, then it'll you'll be set. You'll have that lighting um, in front of you. I think it's pretty cool. It's a really easy trick to do, and I hope you guys like this. <laughs> all right, thank you. Bye.